Welcome everyone to another video. I wanted to give a short update about the Microsoft Surface Entrick Touch situation. I made a dedicated video about this six months or so ago. So the problem was that we got phantom touches and I had a non-working touch stripe here. To recap this other video, I found a calibration tool for Sony laptops that happened to also work on this Microsoft Surface setup that have the same Entrick technology. The problem was the recalibration only lasted some days and then it became worse again. So the last six months I was living here with a stripe that was not really working and that sometimes was showing phantom touches. I sometimes recalibrated this but it didn't really help. So um, I lived with this and when I had too many phantom touches I, you see it's actually still in my history, X input, disable, and trick blah 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 device id i don't boot so often into windows so today was such a day and i thought okay there's a surface firmware update let's try it out it didn't really change a thing but more to this maybe in a minute however i rerun the calibration and even this didn't change a thing actually as the calibration instructions say to shut down the pc fully shut down not reset actually reboot may not reloads the firmware of the entry and the parameters in there. So on the second or so reboot, actually my firmware was even hanging and I thought, how is that possible? Because actually this is my second surface. The first surface three I got was nearly defect on arrival because when I updated the firmware three years ago on the first or second day, it bricked itself with the firmware. And since then I'm a little bit Careful with this firmware updates, obviously, especially now that it's out of warranty. So this is my new replacement unit for this dead on arrival firmware destroyed bricked thing. And as it was hanging today on the second reboot, I was thinking, how is it possible now even this stupid firmware update bricked the machine? Then I switched it off and on again and off and on again, and eventually it rebooted. And then I thought, okay, as it rebooted, let's try the stupid entry calibration another time. And you will not believe that right now this touchscreen is fully working. The slimes, I'm not sure if maybe my, I guess I just, uh, yeah, the, the curviness is probably due to just doing it quickly now. Yeah, even even with this you can't move more straight. Anyway, um, the point is so my dead zone was here and um, I've seen many other people with a dead zone here so I'm still not sure if this is due to heat or Bluetooth and Wi-Fi interference or uh, just manufacturing defects of their production line that there is some microscopic dirt in there or if the Maybe there is something laminated on the contacts of this Entrix that the contacts are loosening or something. I'm still, There is still no official explanation from Microsoft and its Entrix subsidiary as they purchased to a company a couple of years ago. But right now it is working and I honestly did not believe that I ever will have this working again. I thought this is a permanent defect and I have to live with this to the rest of this device life but right now it is really good and I sure hope it stays this way however given the history of this issue I have the feeling I will be disappointed in a day or two but actually <clears throat> actually I'm not the greatest fan of touch because somehow after a week or two I don't like the accumulated fingertips but I got a little bit used to it I have to say even even on the Linux side, I got to use moving the windows around like this. So recording the first part of this Entrick update, the other day I got interrupted. And one of the last things I said was, I wonder how long it will last and guess what, next day. And yeah, <clears throat> so much to that. This Entrick situation remains a total mess and given that it worked totally flawlessly the other day and now 
it is broken again. I still suspect that this is a 90% software issue that they probably could get under control with just fixing the firmware to calibrate properly. And I don't know what it is, if this is too much random noise here, or um, of course it still could be some hardware that some contacts are getting loose. However, when I first continued to work, I noticed it doesn't work. And then I wanted to film it actually on Windows, and then it started to work again. And you can see I put in Linux here, and this, this lines were from 20 minutes ago. So while I booted into Linux and it still kept working, now switching on the camera and 10 minutes later, it switched from actually not working to working shortly and now not working again. And as you can see, I can do here whatever I want. The zone here is entirely dead. I think the zone changed. As far as I remember, my earlier defect zone was slightly more to the left, at least as far as I remember. could also check with the previous YouTube videos, but I think it was more like this area. So again, it could still be a hardware issue, but given that this calibration is able to change something and sometimes it works more, even within 10 minutes, it works more than less. Maybe they could really fix this in the firmware. And um, to all the naysayers, who always say, yeah, but this is some Linux shit. No, it isn't. I proved this already in the previous video and I will prove it now. I will now boot to Windows and show that it most likely behaves exactly the same. Also, this firmware is reporting human interface device events, this AIHD events. So the firmware is doing all the hard work of interpreting the sensor stuff and reporting nice logical coordinates to the operating system. So even those, oh, look look at this, now it works, even while on camera. Um, so the last, it's unbelievable, I did not expect it to start working on camera. So my last calibration really improved things because the last six months it was mostly constant that this zone was not working. And now, although I still have every second day or so some non-working time, um, now you see it turned from not working to getting the camera out and it switched from not working in Windows, booting, working, getting the camera out, not working, making a video, not working, and now even without stopping the camera, you saw it in front of your eyes, now it's working. And this is really sad, as I said multiple times, I find this really sad from a multi-billion dollar company to leave the customers, and I'm not the only one. The internet is full with this, even before the Microsoft Surfaces, the Sony, the Dell laptops from five years ago that had this Entric already, this Entric digitizer. And um, yeah, right now it works, but you've seen it. I'm not making this up, I did not clean it. It is quite clean. But also when it didn't work and I cleaned it, didn't change a thing, so I don't think it's dirt. I have the feeling it's a little bit heat related, but this could be a false positive. Um, it could also be anything else, but again, this is totally unacceptable from Microsoft. I brought this only to have a full Windows experience to compare this in our company with also testing our Windows product and everything. Had I built my own PC from components, I would not have this issue. I overspend for a Microsoft tablet and we sit here with this stupid issue like so many other people. And as I wrote in some comments already on Reddit, unfortunately in Europe we do not have clause action suits. If I would bring this to court, I would need to bring this alone. I do not have this kind of group lawsuits as class action suits like in America. So this is stopping me a little bit from suing Microsoft for the shit. I even called them already. They did not want to service this out of warranty. Maybe I call them again and ask them if there is an update to this issue. But yeah. So, and also the last tip for this calibration. As far as I have seen, I have calibrated this already 10 or 20 times by now. And if you have it working mostly like this, I would not recalibrate this. Usually for me, it only became worse. So this is a once in a six months test time that this improved again. 
And um, yeah, so if you have it working 50 or 70% of the time, just let it and live with it. You will most likely not improve it with calibration unless Microsoft is releasing some updated firmware for this. So yeah, that is a set state of Entrick. Um, still a thing, unfortunately. And um, yeah, let's see what happens when we boot in Windows. So rebooting right now it still works. As I said in the other video, whether the last update has something to do with it that it's slightly improved. But as you can see, this calibration really can help, sometimes a little bit, but your mileage may vary. Don't see as if you totally break your surface that is between you and Microsoft and the firmware fluff and it's not hopeless. So if you have a dead zone of phantom touches, this calibration may help a little bit, at least temporarily, slightly sometimes. And you know the standard ending. I hope you learned something. I hope you found this interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe for all the next videos to come.